Hi Capricorn, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Terror on YouTube and by the advice on Facebook. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. If you don't want to be notified, then don't hit the bell, but do subscribe and it will be saved in your library. You can find the channel back at your leisure. Okay. Um, uh, this is a bilingual channel, so Dutch and English, so the monthlies are in Dutch and English. So if you are Dutch then and you can't speak English, then please use the subtitle. You can do that by hitting the little white box and the wheel, then you can select your language. Okay, this is your reading for the 5th to the 11th. I'll just explain it in Dutch. Hi iedereen. Ik welkom als je nieuw bent. Klik op de uh, lidmaatschap knop en de bel als je genotificeerd wilt worden. Wil je niet genotificeerd wilt worden, klik dan niet de bel, maar wel de lidmaatschap knop. En dan wordt het in je bibliotheek opgeslagen. En dan kan je ons makkelijker terugvinden. Ik ga live elke dag, uh, voor, ook voor een dagkaart. En uh, ook voor de, natuurlijk voor gratis kaartjes uit te delen en de superchat. Heb je nog een, wil je graag een lezing privé, dan kan je altijd een e-mail sturen naar, naar Charlie's Angel Tarot. Dat staat in het de omschrijvingskistje hier beneden. gmail.com En ik hoor graag van je. Oké, okay, um, deze video is volledig in Engels, maar de maandelijkse zijn nog steeds in Nederlands en Engels apart. Zo, uh, so als je geen Engels kan, gebruik de ondertiteling. Hier gaan we dan. Deze lezing is van de 5e tot de 11e. Here we go. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and the weekend. And I've just got two cards to support the reading. Okay, two oracle cards. One from the love and one from the queen of moon. Okay. At first of all, on Monday, Capricorn, you are receiving news. And I think it's going to be good news as the bunch of flowers is underneath it. It could be official news. It could be just general news. Okay, You've, like I said, it might. It, I think it's going to be good news because the bunch of flowers means positivity and luck. You might be getting a gift. So you might be receiving uh, news that you've got the job. Okay, or you um, are being... Uh, being allowed to join the university that you applied for or the college something like that that could be your gift on wednesday we have the coffin you're in a transformational period you're leaving the old behind and you're entering into the new phase okay um then we've got the tower you might be ambitious like i said you might be getting a job or a study. This is also representing institutions or municipalities. Okay, this could be from hospital to school to college to university to another institution like a hospital or uh, a nursing home, uh, a, a special club that uh, has got a closed club like a gentleman's club or a ladies club. Um, a football club or a basketball for girls okay well anything like that so you might be getting help from a municipality like a grant for school as you've got the gift lying next door to it the tower in the Lelemon also means you are ambitious don't forget the people around you because when you reach the top it could be very lonesome on your own okay so keep bear that in mind the tower i also um, remember the meaning from the tarot unexpected changes although the meaning in lenormand is slightly different i always keep it in the back of my mind okay unexpected changes if you've been in a dark period and you're moving onwards from this because you've got the coffin into the light period something proper and new and positive okay at the end of the week you've got twice you've got the bear and this time it's the white bear, both, both of them. Usually it's the brown bear in other decks. And that means that, um, that it's quite significant 
that you've got the white two white layers on top of each other so you are you can stand your ground okay you can stand your ground somebody might be jealous of you because you might be getting recognition from an institution you might be getting that grant from an institution so somebody might be jealous because you're lucky and the bear also means luck just like at the beginning of the week the bunch of flowers you can stand your ground and you protect what you love and what is dear to you okay at the weekend you've got the heart and the heart means you might be doing something that you're passionate about or that you love or you might meet a new love okay and i think hold on uh, it might even be a fires no, um, uh, 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 pentacles person because you've got the seven of pentacles here what you shall reap you shall sow and somebody is talking about you um, in the pro in a positive sense um, as it is lying underneath the heart but remember the birds also mean gossip so gossip could be malicious but it can also be positive so I think somebody's talking about you that could be positive but because it's lying next to the bear it could also be negative so just be conscious of it okay somebody might have flown the nest I usually say somebody might have flown the coop or the group so perhaps somebody has left the group of friendship or because we are um, also we have the municipalities or institutions somebody might have left the institution okay you might have had a classroom or you might have had a group of people students anything like that and somebody might have left because they were so jealous of you and your luck okay you might be the one that's left a particular group as i said you might have been um, acknowledged to uh, come to another uh, institution another school another university and that might be the jealousy of somebody around you but the birds also mean news so at the in the weekend you will also be receiving news this could be about something that you're passionate or a new love or something that you love well passion is love okay okay it all, all depends how you talk about it in english passion you could be passionate about a hobby or something that you're doing but you could also be passionate with somebody else and that's short-lived love is long term love grows it starts off in passion and then it goes into love okay for the romance card capricorn you've got past life relationships you have known each other before okay somebody might be jealous around you because you might be re reconciling with somebody from the past you can see the line so they might be gossiping okay trust yourself yes you've got the word trust in this card and um, to describe the reading or the sphere or the all over energy trust trust in yourself that you can stand your ground trust that you've got luck okay and passion and love like you're going into a beautiful new future okay i think if you want to reconcile with somebody from the past or from a past life it could be your soulmate and i think you might be really passionate about this person but be careful of the negativity if they are from the past then you know what why you broke up in the first instant um, a tiger never changes his stripes and the and the leopard never his spots spots so be be careful you are warned i know you can defend yourself but don't fall for the tricks from the past if it is a, from a past life it could be if somebody new and you've met them in a past life at least that feels like that it could be your soulmate i hope you enjoyed this reading and take care next week and enjoy your week ciao ciao please give me a thumbs up share and like this video with family and friends and i think you're awesome
Be blessed and enjoy the week. Thank you.